Yeah, it is a gorgeous day. It is so warm. It is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm talking about appreciation. One of the things that's very disconcerting at the 555 is the leadership, quote unquote. The person who owns that, Frank, I used to work for, he doesn't really appreciate what I'm doing and he just charges me rent and wants me to pay rent. And if I don't do that, he wants me out. And he just said, yeah, do community building and bring people there, but I want to see results. And yeah, we went to City Hall because of problems uh, that this 555 guest house had, you know, for a long time under a different name, it was home, home Away From Home, which is a great idea, but really what that means, a guest house. And we can create that, it's our community, like, you know, this is our community. It's all, uh, yeah, it's all beautiful, it's amazing. And really to see that flow and to allow for it to flow with one another. It's a very, very natural process of learning, of becoming. It's very crisp, very clear. And that's really how we see one another, we listen, we take time to really learn. And not be caught up in our own craziness, in our own anger, our own issues, which I see uh, definitely, <laughs> there's a lot of that at the hostel, at the guest house. And people, they have, bring their own drama there and are caught up in their own drama and in their own, uh, yeah, repetitive patterns. There's no communication, very, very little to bring this about. Well, especially with Frank, I have to come back to that. Frank, if you hear this, wow, ooh la la. <laughs> and when one doesn't appreciate what the other person is doing, what I'm doing here for the 555, bringing people there, telling people about this community, amazing people who are willing to become part of that. And regular workshops will take place there, regular study groups. And you have to just give it that time. You know, like I've been investing my time, I've been investing my efforts, you know, to help create this and to speak up on behalf of that, saying that this is a good thing, this is a great thing. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, he has never really talked with me, Frank, since I've been there. Very much, uh, <laughs> he has his own affairs, his own relationships, quote-unquote, like Jennifer is one person there, ooh la la. That's very, very bad. Even the reporter saw, the journalist saw that. The other Jennifer saw that. The two Jennifers. <laughs> How funny. How funny. But yeah. Uh, one Jennifer being the journalist, the other Jennifer being this very, very crazy person who, is, who Frank has known, quote unquote, for a long time. And that's all this personal crazy stuff, you know, which is really, uh, it totally undermines the process. And this has been going on for a long time. And so it's really, uh, yeah, it's his stuff. And he needs to take care of that. And he needs to start, you know, being real with this. And I'm really at the point to really put a proposal together and present this to the community. And really present this to people. And really start the room on Pelta if you like this radio program there, an interactive radio program, so to speak, with people from around the world. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. So, uh... Here we are on the corner of the Bosch and Sanchez. Oi, oi, oi. It's a big world, lots of people, lots of traffic. <laughs> Sometimes we can collide, and we shouldn't. We should learn how not to, you know, how to become part of that flow. The flow of love, you want to call it that? It's not about bad experiences and how they have hurt us. It's about the now and what we can create and that we have met and we're meeting right now, whenever it is we are meeting. And we uh, make this our community. Absolutely, that's the key. It's our, your world, our world. That's why I love that. You know, it's not only about, well, it's about all of us. It's about what we do and what we create and who we are and how we are, and where we are, and that we are. <laughs> and I could go on and on and on. I hope you get the point. And I really need your support. Ooh la la. You know, otherwise, you know, because he asked me, you know, pay up or you move out. I'm like, I'm very broke right now. You know, I have my daughter's birthday is coming up. She's going to be 15. And she wants me to uh, rent a room for her so she can have a party with her friends. And also give her some money. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I have $80 so far, $60 left. I guess. It's pitiful. 
you know, I get next week I get some money, but I uh, like t I owe somebody two hundred dollars, and oh yeah, yeah, you know the situation with my teeth. I need to do this, you know, for this I need money, right? It's all about money, <laughs> totally. And this is why I'm in community building. I mean, it's more than a community; it's a healing community, a learning community. You know, it's life, life in action. What is this worth to you? I mean, not just at the five, five, five in terms of my services. You hear me speak on Pal Talk, and I'm sure you will appreciate what you hear. You know, my time that I give for that, to inspire you in this process. Also on a personal level, you know, we can do emails, we can do phone calls on a regular basis. And I help you with whatever problem you are having. But the question again for you is, what is this worth to you? So, uh, it would be really nice to talk about this and other issues. And really how to use our time, because that's the key. So, uh, right now I say goodbye and I'll speak to you soon. I hope you think about that and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.